Hi YouTube, it's Ben from the photography team. Uh, got another quick review. Um, we always call them quick reviews and I think they are. Um, we don't really go into too much depth, but we give you an idea of, sort of where we're going, what we're using, things we're changing. Um, I've been recently looking at my camera kind of bags and things like that and we've always tend to lean on the side of leather um, for its look and, and, and things like that. But Actually now, especially going mirrorless, um, scaling things down, I was looking to go a bit more practical um, and I've decided to go down the Peak Design line. Uh, see them a long time ago when I first started bringing out gear. Um, I never really looked at them again because I fell into that. I wanted to look at the leather stuff and hence we went down to barbershop bags and, and things like that. So uh, yeah, I decided to uh, order one of their new bags, which was the everyday sling five liter which was this bad boy um i don't know if you're aware uh of pig design it may be a, a new name you've heard but i'm sure you have heard of them uh they're well worth looking at again uh, and some of their really nifty clever designs they're coming out with are, are really practical and really helpful um, and the reason i went for this was it's a little bag that i actually have at weddings um changed the workflow probably a year or so ago now instead of having a big bag with me all the time i kind of found out that i'd get to a wedding i'd kit up with my two cameras um, and then i've kind of pretty much mainly emptied the bag and there was a couple of lenses left so i thought instead of carrying that big bag around all day i just grabbed something small um, and then this i was just going to plan to just chuck around me um, and have on my back um, so I could quickly get to it, spin it round, open it up, and I've got access to everything here. Um, as you can see, it's uh, got a fair amount of room in there, especially if you're in the mirrorless game. Um, I can easily probably fit three or four lenses, um, especially when you're using the little sort of the Mitocon stuff, so the little lenses. Um, you know, if you've got the big telephoto stuff, um, especially the zooms this won't fit so much but uh, I'm looking probably to put a couple of primes in here so it fits really nicely um, but there's also things like the front pouch has got their branding on it um, you can then open this up and you've got color coded little pouches for good batteries or memory cards and things like that which is really handy um, but it's also a little pouch to keep some bits and bobs in which I quite like um, cleaning and, and things like that the main section there you can see there's a fair bit of room and this is only the tiny little five litre thing I, I didn't want anything massive um, but I've got one there and they've got these clever dividers which you can just pop down like so and then I could actually fit another lens on top of there which I really quite like um, and they're really nifty design these come in and out they're velcroed in there's two little pouches on the side I've got a, an SD card holder wallet thing there which I may or may not continue to use if I utilize the the red and the green pouches for for memory cards then there's also at the back here there's another quite a big pouch as well um, spin it around on the front we've got yet another pouch so everything's really quite quick and accessible um, and I, I really quite like that um, this is also quite handy there's a carry handle on top some of the stuff that we bought doesn't have a carry handle and you don't always want to be holding it like that so to kind of grab both of those and grab that you've got it a little bit more of a grab and go this is all kind of the seat belt material um, and again it's, it's really nice there is loads of adjustment um, so there's adjustment here which I think they call like the long adjustment so you can make it good for your body size and this is what they call a quick adjuster so literally you can just grab it and run it up and down um, and quickly adjust it so if you put it on um, you can quickly adjust it bring it up bring it further up your back uh, again really like that and it does work really well um, you can also take that off quite quickly there's a hook there that this can go on to around like that and this can actually become like a, a fix it to your I think they call it a fanny pack um, so yeah you can you can do it like that so you can actually wear this sort of on the base of your spine over, over your 
backside and have this around your waist. Um, so I don't know if you're kind of into that style, that may help you, but the, I think the versatility of this is the fact that you can do both. Uh, and again, really quite like that. Um, the actual overall design as well, with the touches of the leather, um, is again really nice. This has got a fair bit of padding on it for something quite small. This feels quite comfortable. Um, and actually I think it's got more padding in most of the other bags by then only just a strap. Uh, so the versatility in the strap alone, I really like. Um, on here you've got the pig design touches with their with their um, logo and, and this sort of blue stitching you can often see uh, going about. Here is where you can put one of their captures, um, which is a clip. Um, it can go on there, it can go on like uh, a rucksack, um, and you've got a plate that goes on the bottom of your camera that you can clip in, and you can put the camera there. Now, we run with a three camera setup. So we have two X-T2s, which we're now using the Spider Light holsters for, and again, we'll do another review on those, because we're really finding they work lovely on the mirrorless stuff. But I also use the X100F, which at the moment um, I've been using on a, one of our rope mates um, straps. Um, but when I picked up all this gear, I picked up one of the Pig Design leashes. So I've just been using that on here at the moment. Um, but we normally run with this round here and then go round and put it under. Um, what I plan to do is take this off, put it onto the capture and have it sitting on the side of the bag, which will obviously go on my back. And then when I want it, quickly spin it round, mount the X-T2 on the, on the hip, quickly take this off, use it as and when I need it, pop it back on the bag, sling it back out of the way. Um, and then I don't have this here in the way, um, getting in the way of things. So I'm gonna try that out. I backed the new style capture, uh, which has been on Kickstarter recently. So that should be shipping as of next month. Um, but I'm really impressed with the design and, and with everything with it, to be honest. Uh, I think it's gonna really fit well into the workflow that we have. Um, so much so that I see a bargain on eBay, which is their messenger bag. Uh, and this will be a separate review. The space in here and the technology and the, the quick, you know, class that they have and their special dividers really worthwhile thinking about if you if you're after a really practical bag um, but that'll be another review so just to recap this was all about the pig design sling which is the five liter this is in the ash color it's actually quite a new release um, if you're after that little bag to maybe do a bit of street photography with um, something that you want to just carry a couple of lenses about when you're doing a shoot all day um, and you, you know, normally have your cameras onto a, some type of strap or a holster I, I can really recommend this uh, and the practicalities of it being waterproof and all of that kind of stuff is real, really worth looking at so um, going forward we'll do a review on the new version 3 capture when it arrives um, we'll do a review on the uh, everyday bag as well um, I may even do a review on their leash, uh, which is this strap here. Again, it's got loads of adjustment in it. You can have it as a round your neck job. You can have it round your back, over your shoulder. And it's all got their built-in um, quick release stuff, which I'm actually really liking. Um, I kind of got fed up with trying to constantly undo the ringlets that go around there. So quite liking the little peak design quick adapters, but I shall continue to use it, see how I get on with it. I um, think I'm going to really like it, and uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Um, keep an eye out for the neat reviews coming for the other stuff soon. And as always, thank you for liking. Always please comment where we try and reply back as uh, quick and as best as we can to all of them. Um, and please subscribe, it really does help us. Thank you.